Nothing signifies the arrival of a new school year quite like picture day. One, two, three, go. There are only two rules for basketball poster photography. Project strength and don't blink. And then I'll hold it out right the line. Media day is the first time the team's freshmen adorn the Pepperdine uniform, each number carrying with it a storied history of triumphs and tribulations past waves come and gone. The weight of the jersey is understood in due time. For now, the player's primary concern is avoiding the ridicule of their captive teammates. Today marks the beginning of Waves Weekend, which kicks off with Blue and Orange Madness, basketball season's first official practice. It's a culmination of months of hard work and a celebration of things to come. But that's later. First, for the young Waves, comes breakfast. I'll serve you in 2K. No. You're worse than Wex. I am not worse than Wex. I was keeping up with Darnell. I lost to Darnell by seven. Did not lose to you by like seven points in 2K. But Darnell, don't say be but honest, or Darnell, be honest. Sophomore guard Elijah Lee has other things on the mind today, namely a Spanish presentation. It's his last semester of foreign language. <laughs> Yo. What? What? <laughs> you see that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <You're bald, bro. laughs> I was trying to grip the ball. Yo. The picture day photos are in and the players are eager to see if they observe the two rules they were given. It's a mixed bag. Oh, that was it clean. Kind of clean. It comes out nice on that phone, too. Everything does look better on that phone. Yeah. Why they make a squat like that? Nah, bro. My, like what? They made you squat? They made, yeah. me, <laughs> they made me shoot the ball, like, like act like I was shooting. <laughs> they did this. I look like <laughs> that. Hey, shot ready at all times. Shot ready at all times. <laughs> when is my face ever going to look like that when I'm dunking? Friday evening, one hour before tip off, Amadi Udini is enjoying the quiet comforts of normal college life. We find out Thursday what the WCC poll is, but like some magazines have us like seventh. Some have his ninth, so. And I, I'm kind of excited that we're that low because no one will we know. It's more, it's better like when you should surprise people than like, I know my junior year we were projected to be third. I mean, we ended up being fourth, but you know, seeing the preseason polls and you're like, oh, we're third, you kind of get cocky, you know, and, and people aren't as hungry. But this year I feel like, since we're kind of getting slighted a little bit that we, we have a little chip on our shoulder. Dude, she got Give me a 95 on my uh, presentation, the oral presentation. Really? Yeah. How'd you get that back? Perhaps wanting to free up her schedule for the festivities ahead, Elijah's professor has already posted his Spanish presentation grade online. If I don't say anything, then just, then, then you know what it on. is. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just go ahead and log in the way net. Oh, okay. This isn't bad. I got a 94. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Knox and Elijah have three years left on campus, but next summer, Amadi will graduate. I mean, I just, I don't know. I haven't thought about it, to be honest. I try not to think about it. What lies on the other side of that walk remains to be seen. Tonight, as parents, students, alumni, and staff hustle in the Firestone Fieldhouse, the men's basketball team goes over final preparations. It's here where signature moves and handshakes are of paramount importance. Most players dream their whole lives about running out of a tunnel, as their name is called. It has
has to be earned. All the jump shots and empty gyms, all the morning sprints, all the studying, homework, and presentations have led to this moment. The night's co-main event is a shooting skills challenge between two teams, helmed by Marty Wilson and women's coach, Delisha Milton-Jones. Blue and Orange Madness aims to excite Pepperdine's fan base, and there's nothing quite as electrifying as a dunk showcase. With the off-season work now behind them, and as the fanfare slowly subsides, only one thing remains, the road ahead. A road full of uncertainty, fresh starts, and final rides. For Amadi Udini, this road is bittersweet. It's lined with memories of two heartbreaking injuries and the valleys of surgeries, physical therapy, and quiet moments of creeping self-doubt. That's all behind him now. What's ahead, just beyond the cheers and lights, is one final opportunity. A chance for a storybook ending, a lifetime of work leading to a moment of clarity. The season nears. It's time. <laughs>